YouTube, it is your girl and I am here to do a little herbal talk. Okay, so you guys were watching one of my unboxing videos and I guess this is going to be one of my friends call her videos chit chat video. So hey Crystal Hot Girl, how you doing? So this could be like a little chit chat about some alma and stuff but I do want to quickly go over my lips. You guys did notice the lipstick that I'm wearing and it is more of a neutral tone. You know I'm kind of on the fence with the neutrals but this is actually from um, Dose of Colors and this was in a limited edition pack this one is called stone stone so i um we're gonna do with the liner okay here it is um i got this from namies i want to say it like the fame expo or something you guys want to know what color it is in so this is stone and the liner that i used with it, i did um go outside of my line um uh, my my lip line this is actually a cheap one from cinema secrets I think I got maybe like a pack of six or a pack of eight for like five dollars or something like that. So, um, and they were pretty long. I've sharpened it quite a few times and it is called Spice. It's not the Spice from MAC. It is more of a, excuse the noise in the background, they are moving someone in. So it is more of like a muted, muted pink plum type of color. So that is it. That's what I have on my lips. And if you, the, the Dosa color one came in a package of three. So it was like 40 some odd dollars. But I did find a color that is kind of similar to it. And it is from LA Girl. This is their matte uh, one. I'm trying to look for a name. And Dreamy. So this is similar to the one that I have on. And I want to say these are by three or four bucks. So there you go. I got you a dupe and I got you the one that I'm wearing right now because I'm gonna wear it because I pay for it. Anywho, okay, so let's go ahead and get into some omelet talk. Um, if you've seen my other videos that I had with um, Anita Grant, this thing is itching. Okay, so <laughs> what I had with Anita Grant and I melted down one of her cubes and I put it with... Um, heated aloe vera juice and amla powder now the one of the reasons that i have been using amla recently not even recently for maybe like a year and a half now is because i did read i do my research on my herbs and stuff you know i'm all about that ayurvedic lifestyle when it comes to my hair um amla helps with grain so yes it does it makes my hair soft. It makes it feel uber moisturized, but it helps with grain. And the reason I don't have products and stuff in front of me is because although you guys asked me the questions, I did want to go and order the stuff online so I would have it for you to, to make this video, but they have been sold out for months. And I let me tell you, months, because I do want some more. I actually put all of it into different um, oil bottles and I mix it up to make my own concoctions to see, you know, when I do... Uh, re-release my hair care company that you know I'm testing the oils and stuff but amla oil is definitely one of the main ingredients in one of my oils that I am making and I love that it does provide some softness to the hair and it does help with premature grain let me say this and say it one more time premature grain if your hair is already gray if it's in your genetics to just get just be gray at 25 it's i'm sorry i can't you don't have to talk with jesus and them to go ahead and see what they can do about that but i'm like well, it's only going to help with premature grain um my, my grandmother she is a uh, caucasian so she has red hair and green eyes and her hair is a snow white right now she's about 82. my mother uh half white half uh, a fourth what is it a fourth native american and a fourth black i don't we black so we just mixed all that with my mom my mom is salt and pepper although she dyes her hair and she is uh 61 i am knocking on 36 and i have two hair two gray hairs um on top of my head my son who is six years old knocking on seven it's really weird his hair texture i'm a 1b 
his hair texture is or his the color of his hair is like a four he actually have more of a lighter brown hair but I you know I, I'm his mama I, I want to know where little hair is on your body so I've looked and he has these natural pieces or specks of hair that are like blonde it's really weird my other people in my grandmother's generation they have blonde hair and blue eyes and it's just specks now me I am his mother and then my father is from Trinidad and he's also half Latin so I'm all me and then there is some Japanese on my father's side like way back so <laughs> that's all I'm a mud so all the genetics and history and ethnicities and all that stuff going way way back when yeah so amla i like to get my amla oil from from nature with love or from nature's love something like that and they have been sold out for months so i couldn't you know show it here in this video but what i do is i do do the lock method which is liquid oil cream I'm going to do a video on that, but just to break it down, mine is a little bit different than what everyone else is doing because I really want to lock in the moisture and it has been working for me. If you follow me on my blog, I am doing a grow out challenge and it's been, I've gotten my one fourth inch like in a week, so I'm, I'm so happy because <laughs> that's a big deal for me to get like growth, like I activated the whole growing phase again. <laughs> but amla oil losing it in my lock method liquid oil cream so my liquid is water my oil is a mix right now of jamaican black castor oil tamano oil and amla oil and i keep it in the bathtub in the shower it stays in there um my cream has been going whatever whatever i have on hand is either going to be the og kime tube recipe with the kinky curly the olive berry juice and then jamaican black castor oil and now the Jamaican by Castor Oil Healing thing. When I, the initial wash day, it is the OG, the one that I first said, Tamano Jamaican by Castor Oil, Amla Oil in the shower. And that's how I am incorporating it. I don't do massaging with it. I don't um, really put it in a whole bunch of products. However, I do make a conscious effort to search out products with certain Ayurvedic ingredients and stuff in it so when I and you guys know I love me some Hattache I love the customer service I love the products and stuff that they carry so when I go to Hattache online I click on up to the little search bar and I can actually type in Amla and it will bring up all the products that they carry with Amla in it you can put in aloe vera juice you can put Brahmi you can put Bringrosh you can put ashwagandha whatever it is a certain product you're looking for that they may have on hand that has that one ingredient in it and you will get a list of different um, products and stuff that they carry so when I ride, need some stuff with Amla in it that's kind of how I came up on Blue Rose Beauty because I did do a search with Amla <laughs> and it had Amla in it there's another one another com company I want to say it's Yenobe it's like Y-N-O-B-E or something like that that they carry and it has Amla in it there is uh, I think it's Lace Naturals that has Amla and stuff in it so I am making a conscious effort to get more products and stuff with Amla already in it so it will help with you know the premature graying and things like that this thing is getting on my nerves this week so I'm getting ready to take it off I'm going to show you exactly basically how I have my hair on under this wig and uh, where the little gray was that I did have and it's in the front so this is say goodbye ah so this is me and my horror and everything so I just keep mine in a little ponytail this is why I don't do twist outs and stuff as you can see yes my hair is long but my hair is very very thin this is one little braid for one little section you know people with all that nice thick long hair one little braid ain't nothing they had like six braids and one little section no it's just one braid and it's just four braids that's it <laughs> that's all that I have so my gray hair was right there now what happened with my gray hair is that um it started to sprout it came out i saw it i was like hello hey girl how you doing um my name's janae but you're gonna have to go i'm gonna have to let you know that i don't, I don't appreciate you popping up in my roots and stuff so it was popping up through my roots and i started to use more oils with amla 
I started to do straight up Amla. I was using um, Amla powder, you know, using it as a treatment to do maybe once a month or so. And as you can see, is I was doing things like that. And there's, as you can see, like there's no grayness all over my hair. So, and I am uh, knocking on 36. And as you can, just a, a little slight lymph check. So yes, my hair, this is just the front section. So like the bangs and whatever, it does go all the way below and tuck under, all the way below and tucked underneath my bra. So my hair is long. It's just that I have fine, fine, thin, natural for a hair. And what I would normally do if I'm like retwisting my hair and putting it underneath my wig, I would get the Comet, Bio Comet Biologics Amla, not the heavy cream. They used to have an Amla pomade. I don't even know if they carry it anymore. Um, I went online to like see what they had, if they increased the sizes and stuff like that. And I didn't see it uh, listed anymore, so I was kind of upset. So I'm going to have to make a run down to uh, my local... They sell it in like a Jewish, a kosher market. They have the Commit by Logics their line. So I'm going to run down there and see if they have what I'm looking for. It is a Omla Pomade. I would normally be retwisting my hair right now with the Omla Pomade. So I am like making a conscious effort to use Omla a little more. But it's not like I'm targeting my hair so that it won't be gray. Or I won't get a whole... I don't really want a whole bunch of gray hairs. But hey, I mean we always have henna. Uh, indigo with henna and we have options you know I can I can treat my hair so all the grays and stuff won't be all sprouted out and be all looking extremely like on the although although um there is this lady <laughs> she used to be on a show on TLC and I think it was called what not to wear and she has this such adorable cute sexy streak of gray in the front of her hair like where her bangs is and I want that. Like if if I'm gonna have to go gray, I would dye all the rest of my hair except for like that one streak. It is so I love it. I absolutely freaking love that look that she has. And this is 2015 and gray is like in, so a lot of people are getting like gray wigs and ombre gray wigs. And I would normally be putting like butter on the end of my ends. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back up because I am doing videos right now. So I do use Amla oil. I do use Amla treatments. I do use products with Amla in it. But I'm only making a conscious effort um, to help with grain. I'm not trying to like really fight it. Kind of, just kind of, sort of. I'm just being aware that, hey, look, um, Miss Makeup Vixen, Miss Tasty Grab on Girl, you are knocking on late 30s and it's time for you to to step it up if I'm going to start doing anti-aging treatments and stuff then it's gonna to have to start now if I'm going to try to prevent um, or deal with premature grain it's gonna to have to start now so it was just me making a conscious effort to go ahead and start doing that stuff now and that's it so I have noticed that that one little speck of grayness that one little hair, I only had two. The other one is like mixed in in the back somewhere. Um, that they are gone. So those little two little hairs, I don't know if they fell out or my hair just, the omelet went into like super attack mode and they're no longer there. So I don't have them anymore. Um, I am gray, <laughs> BTMI, but um, I'm gray like maybe five strands but I ain't worried but ain't nobody down there I'm single so um that's not the reason I'm not y'all need to know about and care but I'm not gonna put omelet oil no it's not that serious I would like to age gracefully so I'm about that life I ain't about all this oh my god I'm gray I don't want to be gray I'm about aging gracefully I don't want crow's feet I just know what stuff to put on my face I don't want a whole bunch of greatness I just know how to fight it I just but I am I want to age gracefully so I'll just put it like that now if you guys want to or are assuming that Amla can 
can reverse aging I'm gonna to have to say no it's not gonna reverse the aging process the grayness it's not gonna reverse it it helps with premature grain so I'll put that out there like that so hopefully you guys will learn from this video if you are in your 20s or 30s or 40s or you think that um, you want to cease and desist or put or slow down the grain then i would definitely say check out amla see how you can incorporate it into your current regimen i don't say that oh my god you have to start doing amla treatments every week or anything just squeeze it in just get it in where it fit in and eventually you know it will start it will help it has helped me and i don't have any more gray hairs on top of my head there those little two hairs are gone so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys later bye